in this section we'll talk about congestion avoidance mechanism used on the Cisco routers. Now uh, before we go ahead we'll try to quickly revise some of the basic queuing mechanisms which we have discussed in our previous sections and then we'll, we'll try to understand what is exactly trail drop and what are the limitations and then we'll see some solution to overcome the tail drop issues. Uh, we call it as a rate random LED detection, weighted rate and class based weighted rate. Now first let's try to understand or uh, quickly revise some of the basic queuing mechanisms. Now whenever any packet comes in general, uh, there, there is something called hardware queue which we cannot uh, do anything. It's always first in first out. Before the packets are placed in the hardware queue, we are going to arrange them in a software queue. And we are going to differentiate the traffic based on different class maps. Like I'm going to uh, include some high priority traffic like voice and video and then some low priority traffic. And I'm going to reserve a specific amount of bandwidth or we have defined some priority for the voice traffic and then we can reserve some specific amount of bandwidth for other classification of the traffic. Now this is something we have done in the previous sections. We call it as queuing mechanisms using low latency queuing or class based weighted fair queuing. Now in this section we'll see congestion avoidance uh, mechanisms like what happens if this software queue is full. Now once the software queue reaches its maximum limit, what it is going to do? Now all your incoming packets, whatever is coming, it will be simply dropped automatically because already the software queue is full. It cannot accommodate more packets and it's going to do something called tail drop. Now, automatically whatever the packets coming here, it will be automatically dropped irrespective whether it is a voice or whether it is a FTP or whether it is a HTP. There is no classification automatically it is going to drop each and every packet. Now we call this this mechanism as a tail drop. Now in this section we'll, we'll try to understand some congestion avoidance mechanisms which will help us to uh, to ensure that your high priority traffic should not get dropped. So some of the mechanisms like red and weighted red. Now just now we discussed tail drop is a mechanism where if you have a software queue is full and if there are new packets coming irrespective whether it is a voice traffic or FTP traffic, it's going to automatically drop them. And the reason is there is the software queue has reaches the maximum limit. And before it actually process any packets, uh, there's no space at all to accommodate any new packets. It's going to drop automatically. So additional incoming packets will be dropped and drop packets can automatically have some significant application performance degradation and it has some drawbacks as well. So let's try to understand what generally issues will come across if there is a tail drop happens. So tail drop means uh, incoming all packets are getting dropped automatically irrespective of any, any prioritization. So tail drop is going to treat each and every packet equally whether it's a voice traffic or whether it is a FTP traffic, it is going to treat both the traffics equally. And once it reaches the maximum limit, it's going to automatically drop all the packets. There's no differentiation mechanism. And the major drawback with the tail drop is it is going to increase the, uh, the bandwidth utilization more in general if there is a tail drop happens. And there are some TCP related issues comes like TCP starvation and TCP synchronization issues. Now let's try to understand what is exactly TCP synchronization issues. Now in case of TCP synchronization, what happens is uh, tail drop causes uh, most of the multi uh, most of the multiple TCP streams to go like like normally it's sending some multiple TCP streams. Now TCP is connection based when it is sending anything it expects the acknowledgement and if there's no acknowledgement it's going to resend the information or something like that. If you have some TCP based connections established here and if there is a congestion now there are some connections established here. Now if there is if the network realizes congestion automatically uh, whatever the maximum uh, limit once it reaches the maximum software limit it's going to drop the incoming TCP sessions means half of the TCP sessions may be disconnected or dropped because of the condition. Now this way if there is a congestion it's going to cause a large number of uh, TCP sessions established and steady packets get dropped simultaneously at the same time. 
Now, even the TCP is having some TCP automatic recovery mechanism where when the sender is sending its sending rate for a certain amount of time, it tries to find out that the, the, that the network is no longer congested and increases the rate again. Now, now in general, what happens is like if, if, it, if the TCP realizes that there is a congestion, it's going to slow down the rate and then after some time it's going to realize that there is no congestion and all the senders will start sending the information again at the same time. So all the senders uses the same time delay before they actually increase the sending rate and then again suddenly it reaches the maximum limit and again it will start dropping again. So which is again leading to the tail drop. So more packets uh, are sending at a high speed and they realize their congestion, they will slow down. After some time they'll try again and then get dropped and they can slow down and then try again after some time. Now this pattern of sending, decreasing and increasing the transmission again, the rate at the same time is referred as global TCP synchronization issues. Now one of the major drawbacks with this TCP synchronization is it's going to lead to insufficient utilization of your bandwidth due to large number of packets getting dropped and again they are retransmitted because they are dropped once it reaches the limit and they are retransmitted again slowing down the rate and then again they are increasing the rate uh, compared to the uh, again the sender will reduce the sending rate when compared to the stable rate. Now these, these are the general issues you will find when it comes to TCP based connections. Now we really don't want this. Now to overcome this what we are going to do is we are going to use some congestion avoidance mechanisms called RAID, random LED detection or weighted RAID, Cisco implementation on that. Now what these uh, mechanisms are going to do is they are going to drop the packets before they actually reach the limit. Now the main advantage we get uh, with these mechanisms is it's going to prevent the global TCP synchronization where we are going to manage the tail drop before it actually reaches the limit, it's going to drop the packet selectively based on the weights, uh, whatever we are applying on that. Now selectively dropping the traffic before the queue is actually full. Now tail drop happens generally when your queue is full, but these mechanisms will ensure that it doesn't reach the limit before it reaches the limit. Uh, it will, uh, the packets are getting dropped before it reaches the limit. Now these mechanisms will, will recognize the congestion before the queue is full and start signaling the individual TCP flows to slow down the sending rate. Now this way we will ensure that your TCP messages are sent at a slow rate without getting dropped, without creating multiple, multiple TCP sessions again and again. So we'll talk about more on these mechanisms in our previous sections. Now in this section we have majorly reviewed some basics of queuing mechanisms where queuing is a method of arranging all the packets, all the traffic in a different classifications and then giving different kind of treatment for each and every traffic. But still, if that particular software use becomes full, now there is a possibility that all your incoming traffic packets get dropped. Now we call that as tail drop. Now tail drop will have some issues with, especially with the TCP based traffic, which will lead to TCP synchronization where uh, where you already have some TCP based sessions which can get dropped. Once it gets dropped, it will slow down the rate and after some time they will, they will feel that there's no congestion and all the signals will start sending at the same time and then realize the congestion and then they will slow down. Now this is going to increase the bandwidth utilization due to insufficient of bandwidth, large number of packets getting dropped and then retransmitted. And we, we have something called TCP synchronization issues and to overcome that we can we can use some mechanisms like red and weighted red mechanisms